What is up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing guys how you can make a rocket on Roblox. So first, we'll find a model. So I'm gonna rename this to Rocket, okay? Then I'm gonna find a mesh called Rocket, and let's try to find that one. All right, we have one here, and let's just change the color of this, uh, and let's change the reflectance to 0.5 like that. That looks cool, right? All right. Now, next thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this one to main like that very simple and next we're gonna add a part very simple um yeah let's go ahead right here and put it there put it up right there all right so you're gonna make this part as small as possible okay then we're gonna put it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, like that. That was really small. I don't even know if we can see it, but there it is, right there. Now it's really small and it won't be visible, really. Uh, it, it still will, but we're gonna just put it there. Okay, so this is this one we're gonna rename to um, engine because this is our engine that shoots out the fire. And inside of that one, we'll put a um, particle emitter. And right there, see right there. Um, what you want to do is put it to whatever speed you want it going down. I'm gonna put it to six. Rate. I'm gonna put that rate to infinite if I can. Can I? No, I cannot. I'm gonna put it just spamming nine 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 until it says infinite like that. See now there's a bunch of pads coming down. We're gonna change that to the the texture to smoke. Uh, smoke main DDS. So it's like that and change. The color. So what you want to do is you want to start on here by having a blue color, and then you're gonna go here, right here, and put it to orange. Now you see right here, it's gonna change like that. So what you're gonna do is put it like this, okay? Then I'm gonna close it. See, starts by being blue. Now let's change the light emission to one. It's right there. So now it's like blue when it comes out. It ends up by being uh, that color, orange, yeah. Um, so, that's it. So now we're gonna close that. We're gonna group the engine and main. Let's group that. Now, they're not gonna stick together, so that's why you gotta select them, and you gotta weld them together. Um, if you have the welding plugin, that would be a lot easier. So, the one by Aussie Pig. So, I'm gonna weld them all like that. Next, we'll need to make the velocity for this so it goes up. So we're gonna do get a body velocity and put it in. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the max force to in, comma in, comma in. All right. So it's like that. Then we're gonna change it to zero, uh, ten zero. Uh, or you can really decide what kind of force you want. Actually, let's change the particle size to two so it's kind of like that that's cool all right so now let's go ahead and launch it now it should already fly up when we test it um so let's run it and we can see if it lifts off and wait yeah see now it's lifting off which is really cool and that's pretty much it but when you start in the game people won't be able to hop onto it or see it because it's going to be launched immediately so what you want to do in case of that is you want to insert another part and we're going to rename that one and we're going to add a cylinder no, we're going to add a part all right um, cylinder, all right it doesn't it isn't even there we can add a part all right and we're gonna put this part into the model and we're gonna put that part wherever you want but i'm just gonna put it here for now just see right there all right and i'm gonna change the the color to neon and no i mean the to green and then neon like that let's go ahead right here and we're gonna anchor this piece and like that now inside of this script this is the one we want to make it fire so what you're gonna do is go into the main and you're gonna set that velocity to zero, that's zero to zero, so it can't fly because then there's no velocity uh, force or anything about that. We're gonna put the enabled here to false um, there, so now it won't be visible anymore. We're gonna go ahead and put a script into the trigger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do script. Oh, all right. 
Oh, wait a minute. We need to add a click detector. Uh, rename the click detector to launch. Okay. I'm going to do script.parent.launch.mouse click connect function like that. Alright. And you can also add some here if you want to. Right, click and then you can do um, whatever uh, print has wait has launched the rocket all right so I don't know if that's gonna work but um yeah I'm not that good of a scripter as you can see but Okay, let me hit go ahead and check. Um, it's probably not gonna work. Let's just go ahead and click play first. So, yeah, it's just so if you can like see operate who clicked the button, because that would be a lot easier for you when you are scripting. If it doesn't work, then we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, then we're just gonna remove that from the script. All right, so let's go in now. Um, it's not gonna launch the rock now. I'm just testing. So let's go to the output. Um. Uh, attempt to concatenate user data with a string. Alright, that's not possible. Need, uh, okay, I don't know how to do that. I forgot to how to concatenate. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's go in here. Um, Alright, we're just going to remove that. And then we're going to script it behind the mouse button one click. Mouse click connect. And then we're going to uh, script dot parent dot parent dot main dot body velocity dot um velocity equals vector three dot new because you can't just type in what it needs to be you need to type in vector three dot new and then parentheses and whatever it's called I can't remember um and then we're gonna do zero ten zero so now we have the physics force um of how it's gonna go up and now we're gonna do Script dot parent dot parent dot engine dot particle emitter, and then you're gonna do, <clears throat> and then you're gonna do, uh, what is it called? Particle emitter, and then, oh my god, particle emitter dot enabled equals to like that. Um, so yeah, you can also do, um, but if you want, you can do print the, print the rocket has been launched. And the rocket has been launched like that. Right? And that's going to print to the output so we know. Um, so what we can do also is we can do... Uh, we, what we want to do, we can also do... So we wait for some time and we can make it stop later, right? So we can do wait um, 10 seconds. Script dot parent dot parent dot main dot body velocity remove no, uh, destroy. I forgot destroy like that. And it should fall down, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, uh, no, I mean, no, it should fall down. Um, alright, so, yeah, 10 minute mark, it better be good now, I've been waiting by the time I Because I use this every time in my game, so, yeah, it should work, um, I'm gonna wait for it to, to load. Okay, it takes forever, I don't know why. There we go, we are inside. Let's go ahead and launch the rocket, guys, to see if it works. See, it's lifting off, guys. We just clicked the button, and now it's lifting off. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how we do it. I really hope you enjoyed the video, though. If you could, leave a like. See, it fell down. <laughs> leave a like and subscribe. Um, you can edit the properties to whatever you want. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hope you see it.
Don't forget to subscribe, please, and like <laughs> and share. And with your friends, if they are scripters. If um they're not, then I don't know. Still share it to them, cause uh, I need views. Thanks. <laughs> JK. Um. Yeah. See you in the next video. Um. I think you can still launch it again and again and again. Oh, you cannot because oh, never mind. Cause it's gets get destroyed. Right? Never mind. I totally forgot that. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye bye.